Okay, so these are two transfusion set. One is your routine IV set, and the other is the blood transfusion set. So this we use routine transfusion set. We used to give IV fluids like normal saline, ringer lactate, like that, and this we used to transfuse the blood products like PRVC or whole blood. So the one difference which we everybody knows that there is a difference in the filter size. Here it is a very small filter you can see, and here it is a very large filter. So this large filter prevent the microaggregates, fibrins, or blood clots from getting transfused. But one difference is also there which we should know that suppose i tell you that we need to transfuse fluid for at the rate of 60 ml per hour from this iv infusion set and 60 ml of blood uh, transfusion through this iv set so how will we give so we uh, calculate it by drop factor so drop factor is written on this iv set so here it is 20 drops per minute equal to 1 ml so that means if we give 20 drops per minute, it will equal to 1 ml. So we, if we continue with 20 drops per ml, it will be 60 ml per hour. So 20 drops per minute equal to 60 ml per hour. Now here on the in this transfusion set, what is written? Here it is also written that in 20 drops of distilled water equal to 1 ml, it is also written. But this is very important. It is 20 drops of distilled water. So let's see. So in factory, what happens, they are calibrated to 20 drops of water per ml, which correspond to 15 drops of whole blood or packed red blood cells. That means if we want to give uh, 60 ml of blood to this uh, blood transfusion set, we need to uh, set at 15 drops of PRVC through this. If we give 20 drops, then it will be a little faster. So understand this is the difference between the drop factor of an IV infusion set and the blood transfusion set. So blood transfusion sets drop factor for blood is a little less. So now do read more about it.